Hey, good morning, friends. Thanks for coming back. Today, we have another garden tour in store for you. It's still not the home gardens. We still have not finished that for a couple of reasons, but we do have one of our other bonus gardens. We call it the Valley Garden that we're gonna go visit today. It's actually a rental house that my one of my best friends and my sister is living in right now. It's out in Spokane Valley, which is why it's called the Valley Garden. Let's go check it out. So we are here in the Valley Garden. My sister and my one of my best friends lives in this house and they have this backyard with south a south facing fence line all the way around here. So we're gonna load this baby up with pots and trellises and I don't know, whatever else we can fit back here. friend Emily gave me a couple of pots from her backyard and this big blue one is perfect to put the loofah gourd in. It's nice and tall and wide. We're gonna put some arches, not arches, some trellising up behind it in some way to let it vine all over this fence. Oh, forgot to bring the mower. I feel so dumb. I realized I had one job and it was to bring over my push mower to mow their lawn and I forgot it. So new plan. <laughs> We are not, we're growing barely anything along that fence, so we have decided. And so we have decided it's going to be more of a like patio garden because this area gets full sun. This is where she is going to be getting, I mean, you're going to be hanging out here anyway. And then there's like the trellis for the loofah, so. That's kind of awesome. And then if we get a wild hair, we can plant more things over there. But we already have wild hair. Yeah, we do have wild hair. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's just gonna kind of be right here. That'll be a good size and we can, what? <laughs> Yeah, what is that noise? I'm pretty sure it's a train. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, you can put the pea pot. You're a little pea pot. <laughs> you can put it right there next to the loofah pot. The peas will grow up this until it's time for the loofah, because at that point, once it's ready for the loofah, it'll be too hot for the peas. So that'll be perfect. I gave my sister a little collection of seeds when she still lived in Florida, so we're gonna go through and see which ones we can plant today. I find it best to soak peas before planting them. It just speeds up the germination a little bit. So we're gonna put them in a glass. <laughs> <laughs> glass, were these from like McDonald's McDonald's, or something? yep. Yep. I usually soak them for about 12 hours. I mean, really until they look nice and plump and then plant them in the ground. So what else do you want to grow? Uh, all the peas. All the peas. <laughs> all the peas. Um, you like beans. I do like beans. Peas so and beans. we'll grow some whole beans. And we'll, let's do some bush beans too, because those ones we don't need to get like trellis. Those purple ones? Yeah. Yep, from purple ones. <laughs> Watch out, watch out. 
Oh. <laughs> I know you felt it there, sorry. Yeah, you're fine. I'm trying to keep it from dripping down to you. Do you know the nope. general <laughs> rule about planting seeds? Nope. We'll take a seed out and I'll show you. So when planting seeds, you only want to bury it about twice as deep as it is wide. It's a pretty fun little space, huh? Um, I love that it's all south facing, so there's lots of sun all day long. Um, my sister's gonna have to make sure she keeps up on watering because it's south facing and because it's all gonna be in containers. So um, yeah, she's gonna have to make sure she keeps up on that, but I think she's gonna um, be up for the task. And it's gonna be fun to see what kind of things that we can grow just 100% in containers, so. This week we are experiencing temperatures in the 70s, which is great. Um, the lows are still getting around like the high 30s, low 40s, so it's still a little bit chilly to plant out a lot of the things that we have started inside. These garden spaces are about to come to life, so stay tuned uh, to see how they grow. And yeah, as always, thank you guys for growing with me, and be sure to subscribe and like and all that good stuff. So. See you next time.